What's going on YouTube? Today we're doing a quick unboxing of the iPhone 15 Pro Max in the blue titanium as well as in the black titanium. Let me know which one of these colors you think looks best, but let's get into the unboxing and check these two out together. Let's go ahead and start off with the black titanium, then we'll move on to the blue. And if you are interested in the iPhone 15 series, maybe you're interested in some case videos, maybe you're interested in some screen protector videos, I'm going to have a bunch of content coming up. So make sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon, let me know down in the comments below if there's anything in particular you want me to pick up and check out for you. But let's just take a look at this black titanium. Oh man, this is a super, super awesome color. I am definitely really impressed with this black color this year around. And let me just kind of shimmer it for you guys so you can really tell what this color is going to look like. I don't know guys, I was going to keep the blue as my personal phone, but now that I see this black, I really think this might be the absolute winner. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the side rails just really quickly so you really get to see how this is going to shimmer and whatnot. I don't know guys, black might be it, but let's put the phone aside. On the inside, you're going to get this really nice braided cable from Apple. They always give you some nice accessories. And of course, inside of the box, your troll sticker, as well as a very, very small manual pointing you to the online reference. But let's put that aside. Now it's time to check out the blue. And let's just do this unboxing thing. Dun, 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 dun. And here is the blue. Kind of looks blackish gray in certain lights. When the light hits it straight on, it definitely looks like a blue. But let's just take a look at it. And then again, at certain angles, it kind of looks gray, kind of looks black. I don't know. I think I might have to keep this blue. I'm, I'm definitely interested in a different color these days than the standard black or white. Let's take a look at these side rails as well. Super, super awesome. And let me show you the black once again next to it. Just to give you guys an idea of the color, this is not going to be edited in any way. Not super deep, but sometimes when the light hits it, I think that's definitely an awesome looking color. If you have any questions about it, let me know down in the comments below. I don't know guys, both of these phones look really awesome, but I think I'm going to go with the blue one this time around just to give myself a little bit of a color change. You can't go wrong with a black, that's just classic in my opinion. But I think I'm changing up this year. Let me know if you think I made the right choice. This blue is definitely making me feel some type of way. I think this is an awesome, awesome color. I took these phones out into the hallway and one thing I noticed is the black kind of, in certain lights, Gives you that nice grayish type of look and then when you look on it head on it's sort of like a graphite graphite gray black I'm going to call it and the same with the blue in certain lights it kind of gives you a little shade of gray and then when you hit it straight on when the light hits it straight on you get that blueness. I definitely like the two-toned action thanks to that titanium material. I think no matter which one you choose you can't go wrong. Again I'm definitely liking this color shift on both of these phones you can see that Kind of looks black right there and then off to the side it looks a little bit grayish. Same with the blue one. You get that nice kind of blue blue hits you right in the face. And then as you shift it you get that blue gray type of look. Both of these phones are pimp. Both of these phones are definitely the phone to pick up. Let me know what you guys think once again. Which color do you think is the best? I'm still having a hard choice to be honest with you. Right there they both look pretty much identical. When it comes to quality, you definitely can tell the difference between an iPhone in your hand and any other manufacturer. They really just have this process down packed. And that's one of the joys of picking up a iPhone is that you really feel that quality in hand. And speaking of in hand, this is definitely a lot lighter than my other iPhone 14 Pro Max was. So I'm really happy to see the reduction in weight. It just means that this isn't going to pull down my back pocket. This is something that's really noticeable. So Apple did, or, did an awesome job with giving us the huge size and putting down that weight. Minimal bezels on the front and you can see that curvature. This is probably one of the best iPhones Apple has ever made. They say that every year and every year it's, it's pretty much true. Every iteration is better than the last most of the time. 
So I just want to show you that a little bit of a close up of that screen. Super awesome, lightweight in hand, nice color. There's going to be more reviews in the works, but just take a look at it. I know you, you're all curious. You might have it on pre-order. You might be waiting another month or so. If you do have this on pre-order, let me know what the date is down in the comments below. Again, you're going to be really happy with this iPhone, at least from first inspection. And now let's go ahead and just unwrap the black one. Here's what the black is going to look like. Now, if you've switched from Android like I did, let me know if USB-C played any role in that. For me, I'm really excited that USB-C is here. I'm excited to still use all of my peripherals, all of my charging cables. Everything like that is just going to be more universal. And I expect a lot of people are going to switch over to the Apple side thanks to that USB-C port on the bottom. Now, of course, being the Pro Max, you do have access to 3.0 USB speeds. And I'm happy about that as well. But just take a look at the black. This is just an unboxing, guys. Now you see the fingerprints are being picked up quite easily. And I've literally only been playing with this for seconds. But of course, most people do put on a protective case. I'm one of those people, but it is interesting to see those fingerprints there. If we take a look at the blue. You can still kind of see them. Everyone I know, though, doesn't rock a phone raw dog. Everyone puts a case on it. So if you're one of those people that goes caseless, you're going to have to wipe this down. Again, guys, first look, the black, the blue, kind of depending which way the light hits it, they almost look very similar. I'm going to have a ton of content coming up on the iPhone 15 Pro Max here. If you want me to pick anything up, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon, hit that like icon, share this video, and definitely let me know if I made the right choice with the blue versus the black. Awesome, awesome, awesome.